Welcome back. I don't have to tell you, the weather has been brutal this year. Oh, yeah. A winter that lasted way too long and now a super wet spring. All that rain and even flooding means our houses have taken a beating and local communities have to figure out what to do with all that water. All that water. Gardening expert Melinda Myers is here to show us how even a low maintenance garden will beautify your home and keep rain, water and all that other stuff exactly where you want it to be. You bet. Each one of us can make a difference in our community, in our landscape, our waterways, and of course, like Michigan. And they're really easy things that you can do, and they're good for your gardens and good for you. You mentioned water, you mm -hmm. know, flooding basements, backups in our sewers, those type of things. If we capture water using our landscape, we can really reduce the water going into storm sewers, reducing water treatment cost, and also damage to our homes and beautifying our gardens as well. So there's some simple things we can do. And like right. any good garden, you want a good foundation and soil's important. Okay. Not edible, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but amending Just your soil, it. You like amending it. your soil with compost is very important. If you have heavy clay soil, which most of us do in Southeast Wisconsin, it helps improve drainage so water moves through. We had some guests on the show earlier this week because it's National Composting Week or something like that. And they told us how to do it. It's so much easier than you might think and such a great use of the all those fruits and vegetables and eggshells and bread and mm -hmm. things that you throw out. Exactly, and it also doesn't end up in the landfill then exactly. and improves your landscape. And I think we have a picture of incorporating some compost into your garden. So we want to add a couple of inches of compost, spread it on the soil surface, till it in, and you'll improve that soil on the top. I'll say 12 inches. If I can get you to do six, I'll feel pretty good. <laughs> so I know the reality. And, and if you have a lawn, aerating the soil and then spreading compost over top will improve the soil and your lawn will absorb more. So here's just an example of a garden. Mm -hmm. We've added some compost. We're going to rake it over and till it in. And I think we have a picture of it being tilled in. So a healthy lawn is one of the ways that we can conserve exactly. the water that's on our property. Exactly. Okay. Um, one fertilization a year can reduce your weeds by as much as 50%. And most people know I'm the spokesperson for Melorganite, so I always like to disclose yeah. that. But it's 85% organic matter. So when you're fertilizing, you're also adding organic matter and feeding the soil. Mm -hmm. So a healthy lawn does help encourage the water to go into the soil. It stops it and slows it down, and it helps capture those pollutants and fertilizer and things before it reaches the storm sewer. Well, and we're talking about doing the responsible thing, keeping water in the right places, but the truth also is that it beautifies your landscaping. It does. So you've got water, and it seems like we always have a lot of water when we don't necessarily need it, and then we never have it when we do. And rain barrels are another great way that people can then also capture that water when we're getting excessive amounts, mm -hmm. save it and use it for your containers. Use Those it for are later. cute rain yeah. barrels. And they're very oh. pretty. Yeah. No, my friend Steve helped me build a rain barrel at my house and we have a, it, it actually, I use it to water the, uh, I want to water my vegetables and it's much better water apparently exactly. for, for the plants. And they've done a lot of research out of Rutgers University and found that people sometimes worry about what's on your roof that uh -huh. ends up in the rainwater mm -hmm. and they really haven't found any problems with bacteria or things like that. Mm -hmm. If you're concerned, use it on your ornamentals but rain barrels and you can see they use two interconnected uh -huh. because one inch of rain on a thousand square foot of roof is 623 gallons <laughs> those were 50 gallon rain barrels uh, wow. so using several and I don't know if we have the picture of the ones between the garage and the fence a small space gardener did a great job and she lined up her rain barrels you can see what do you oh, do oh wow in that area right <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. Whoa. I know yeah, yeah, it's it's look at that. and so the neighbors aren't looking because there's a fence on one side she doesn't have to see him because the garage is on the other side and what are you going to do in that three foot space that's great right. not going to grow anything it's not right. going to be successful you'll have weeds and nothing else so she captured the water interlock she can end it at exit that water take it out of the spigot on either end so it's a great way to put water to use healthy plants also minimize or eliminate the need for pesticides right oh you exactly so the right plant in the right place keep it healthy and you'll have a lot less work you won't be doing as much pruning if you give it the space you won't have to treat with pesticides because it's healthy look at that look beautiful at that. garden. that's gorgeous that's my friend Dorothy's garden and trees <laughs> and shrubs help slow the velocity of water so do you it's... only have friends who have beautiful gardens <laughs> well yeah <laughs> That's where I hang out. <laughs> Not fewer questions. Just drive away no, from the house. Exactly. Yeah. Weeds. Yeah. Yeah. They don't come to my house to feel better. <laughs> plant trees, plant um, native plants. Whenever possible. Whenever possible. Capture water to use later. Amend your soil. Have a healthy lawn. And if you have too much shade, so you can see here's a beautiful lawn. And 
And a lot of people don't like clover, but it is a nurse crop. And then we have some pictures of ground cover. So if you have too yeah. much shade, there ground are things covers. you can do. And oh, it can those still are hostas. So yeah, hostas. Yeah, hostas grow like crazy. They do, and that's dead nettle. What a terrible name! And so those can—they're equally assertive, can hold their own, and a great way to cover the ground. And if you don't want to have a ground cover mulch around your trees and shrubs, mm -hmm. helps slow the water when it hits the ground, reduces compaction, improves the soil, and suppresses weeds. A lot of good things with one action. I love it. You That's can so join great. the cause. It's easy. All you have to do is visit Fresh Coast Guardians website. It is there on your screen. It's FreshCoastGuardians.com or call the Resource Center at 414-225-2222. <laughs> you can start implementing some of these great green strategies Fresh in your Coast yard. Guard yeah. <laughs> okay, I, we have a new mascot yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 show, I'll show the voiceover. Okay. He'll get his tights and cape. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we're waiting for that. Thanks a lot, Melinda. Thank you. Appreciate it.